Hi, I'm Alex from Prosperity Finance, and welcome. Revolving credits and offset accounts are two great products that can help you to save your loan interests. But we found that there's a lot of mystery around these products. So today, let's do a very quick comparison to see what the pros and cons are. Okay, um, let's start with offset account. So here on screen, you can see that we have example here. Uh, see if a customer has a total borrowing of $500,000 um, as showing on the left. And out of that 500,000, 400,000 is being fixed as showing this little um, block here. And then another 10, 100,000 um, is structured as an offset account. So how does it work? Um, you can link this $100,000 um, offset account to many other normal accounts, many saving accounts. So here as an illustration, um, I have put three different accounts with various uh, amount of funds in them. Um, so, and, and these accounts, the offset accounts and these other accounts are linked virtually on the background. Um, so essentially the total amount of funds available in all the linked accounts will be used to offset the um, balance in the offset accounts. Uh, in this case, we can see there is still a little bit um, balance left uh, without being offset, uh, which is showing red on the top. So the interest will only be charged on this unoffset amount. Um, and here down below, you can see I have a sentence saying that can link to more accounts. Um, that uh, means, yes, definitely you can link to more than three accounts. Um, depending on which bank you go to, uh, sometimes you can link up to 50 accounts to offset the balance in your offset account. Um, so what are the main benefits of using offset accounts? Of course, the biggest benefit is that you can utilize funds sitting in different accounts and link them to the offset accounts and offset the balance. So you don't have to pay uh, interest on the those amounts that's been offset. And, um, the accounts not has to be just yourselves. Uh, sometimes your um, immediate family member, like your parents and kids accounts, also uh, qualify. Um, the second uh, benefit uh, would be that the, the funds uh, in those accounts, um, you do not have to transfer them into the offset, offset account itself. So uh, it, sometimes it makes it easier to manage your savings. Say you want to have one account, one saving account for your travel and another saving account for buying a car. You don't have to mix everything together. You can just virtually link them together uh, to the offset accounts. Key points that need to be aware of when using offset accounts, there are three of them. Um, one is that the linked saving accounts may no longer be um, eligible for earning interests. Um, again, different banks have different policies, but uh, most of the time it's unlikely to still getting any interest paid to the saving accounts. Um, and the second one is that there's no immediate access to the funds that link to the offset accounts uh, because the money is still sitting in your, say, your saving accounts. So you can't link that, um, well, unless you link it to a debit card, otherwise you have to transfer it to your uh, check account before you can use it. And the last point to note is that uh, not all the banks um, are providing this product. Um, and then let's have a look at the revolving credits. Um, it's very similar to um, offset accounts. Uh, here again, we have the same example uh, with $100,000 uh, being structured as a revolving credit. Um, the difference is that uh, you do not link it to any other accounts. Um, itself just acts as a transaction account with overdraft. And also this one can be linked to one of your debit card. Um, and this can be managed to a way that's very similar to a uh, credit card. So if you have extra money, you want to offset the balance, you just need to transfer your money into this revolving credit. Um, and the interest will only be charged on the uh, remaining balance um, after any funds been transferred. So the main benefits of using a revolving account, um, of course, is the easy and fast access of funds in the revolving accounts. Because when you link it to a debit card, it's essentially just like a credit card. You can just um, 
uh, use it um, in a normal way. Um, and the second reason is sometimes it may also um, uh, provide a better traceability from a accounting perspective. Uh, here's an example is like when you buy a car using a undrawn loan, um, that's the loan that's uh, sitting in the revolving accounts uh, since the drawdown of the entire home loan. Um, and from the accounting perspective, uh, the car is kind of like being bought using this loan from the bank because it's the money from the revolving credit. Um, instead of uh, if you pay it by cash, um, you can't um, classify it as you, you bought the car um, using a loan from the bank. It actually, you pay it by cash. And I also put down two key points that um, uh, probably need to be aware of. Uh, one is that um, the revolving credits accounts may incur higher monthly management fee uh, compared to the offset accounts. Um, but some banks like Westpac, they do not charge fees on either of these accounts anymore. Um, then, of course, uh, it's an uh, inconvenience issue that funds need to be transferred directly into this revolving account, unlike the offset accounts where you can just virtually link them together. Okay, so those are the um, pros and cons, and also some simple description of these two different products. Hopefully, they are helpful. Thank you very much, and see you in the next video.